the upstate of South Carolina is the lovely little town of Abbeville, best known as the place where Jefferson Davis dissolved the Confederacy. History lives on in the beautiful houses, churches, and buildings that resonate with the best ideals of the past. This is a faithful community, full of hope and fellowship, even with the local mills closing that once drove this economy. The small town feel has not been lost, although the town has embraced the best of the modern world as well. While the mills are gone, the picturesque town square still thrives with modern businesses, offices, restaurants, and shops. And just off the square is Trinity Street, with the historic Trinity Episcopal Church at the end, founded in 1842. Planted with boxwoods before the current building was completed in 1860, these shrubs were used to repopulate historic Williamsburg, Virginia after pests wiped their boxwoods out. While a bit overgrown, they are still healthy old plants. The beautiful pink color of this French Gothic revival building is due to leaching of iron into the covering render from the bricks that were made on site from clay that occurred in the yard. The gorgeous 130-foot spire dominates the Abbeville skyline and is synonymous with this town. A short walk in the garden allows the views of the empty cross sculpture, but also allows vantages of the damage Trinity has sustained over the years. A once powerful force for good and the building of God's kingdom, Trinity is now a small mission-sized church whose vibrant, faithful congregation meets in the parish hall because of the structural instability of that famous spire. Repairs for the spire are expected to be about $400,000 of a total $2.5 million renovation. The famous bells of, the, of Trinity survived the Confederate Army's attempt to melt them down for cannon, but no longer ring due to the structural instability. A well-meaning attempt at restoration and preservation in 1971 resulted in Portland cement holding in moisture and eroding the native brick underneath. This will need to be removed and replaced with rough coat cement that will protect but allow the masonry to breathe. The interior plastering also needs to be refurbished and repainted to rejuvenate this gorgeous space. The basic structure is still good and the lovely windows still sparkle. The pews and other furniture are all in great shape. However, while there are still needs for ADA compliance additions, a bathroom in the building, and carpeting, the overall electrical and lighting is adequate, if in need of updating. Among the most beloved components of this church building is the altar window, famous for running the Union blockade during the Civil War. This window is not the Trinity window ordered, but after all it went through, the building was modified to fit the window instead of sending it back. The window frame is rotting and needs to be refurbished, partly due to the inadequate and antiquated HVAC systems. Music lovers used to adore listening to the pipe organ by John Baker of Charleston, one of two remaining organs by Baker in South Carolina. However, the soundboard and compressor are damaged and leave us more than $100,000 away from listening to its glorious sound once again. This church building has seen vast numbers of baptisms and weddings for all of God's children, regardless of color. While it remains the heritage of famous Confederate families, it has always preached the gospel of God's love, even when that was uncomfortable for the people of the congregation. But the building is not the church, and the parish hall serves as a temporary worship space. This parish hall has become a temporary home. This church still focuses on worshiping God, serving those less fortunate, and spreading the gospel. We worship in a small space, but this only serves to focus us on the beauty and glory of what a church really is, not just a building. If you can help us restore our building, we would ask you to visit trinityabbeville.org. All monies received go only to the restoration. Thank you, and God bless you.